Hey everybody, welcome to another one of Chris's Beer Reviews. Today I'm going to be drinking the Fuller's India Pale Ale. Uh, this is a, a special beer. You can't really get it uh, year-round. So uh, I guess the best I could tell you is uh, in Toronto, Ontario, Canada, the best time to get this, um, well, in 2011 was you know, Christmas, January area. Uh, so if you're going to be trying to get this now, I'd be looking for it around the uh, 2012 December and uh, January months. We got a 500 uh, milliliter bottle at 5.3% ABV. We got your typical traditional Fuller's Griffin beer cap there. Best I can show you for now. Um, I don't have a Fuller's glass, but I'll be pouring it in. Uh, one of these glasses right here. It's a St. Ambrose Nicoslin Brewery beer glass. Let's see how it goes. By the way, uh, Fuller's is from the UK, so I'm expecting this to kind of taste like a, a combination between an India Pale Ale and a uh, uh, English style beer. Already, I can pick up on the uh, English UK hops. Uh, from the nose, it's actually starting to smell a lot more like a UK style beer than it is an IPA. All right, so we got about a two finger head here. All right, we got a uh, orange actually. Uh, we got an orange looking color. That, clearly, this is a, a non filtered beer. As you can see, it's very translucent. Um, the the color goes from a dark. Uh, at the top, and it comes down here and makes a very, very light color. Honestly, uh, I'm just picking up on those straight up UK hops that we're used to having. Uh, I'm not too sure whether Fuggles is one of them, Fuggle hops, but uh, this smells very, all too familiar to me. We have a very white looking head. Uh, try not to make it look so bright, but uh, yeah, it is a white head, believe it or not. And uh, we have medium-sized bubbles. Uh, it actually kind of resembles uh, the bubbles of, uh, you know, a creamy soda can. All right, here goes. All right, so um, Fuller's is a wonderful brewery. Um, this is an extremely good uh, UK beer. Um, it is not uh, that of the style of an IPA, so to speak. Uh, an IPA usually has uh, an IPA, just to make it clear, India Pale Ale, uh, usually has uh, a very citrusy, uh, very hoppy taste. Uh, you know, usually you're tasting um, lemons or grapefruit, you know, something really, really sweet and bitter like that. This. Um, you could you could almost drink this one at room temperature like you, like you should drink uh, most of your English beers, but uh, it really just tastes like a straight up U, uh, UK beer. Like I said, it's not too overwhelming at all. Like if you don't like that 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 beer of uh, the traditional hops that are that are used in a in a UK beer, um, I I would drink this as a, as a gateway. Um, because this really is the perfect balance of hops uh, for uh, an in introductory uh, beer from the UK. I easily stand by that decision. Um, really, 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 really good way of starting somebody off to a, a, a UK beer. Um, wow. Perfectly balanced. Taste is not changing whatsoever. Very, very refreshing. We got some incredibly play, playful lace here, which is generally the sign of a, a good quality brew. We don't have very much head, but something tells me that uh, I can kind of recreate it from scratch again if I'd like to. There you have it. Back to a one finger head. Absolutely 
no complaints. This is definitely a, a beer snobbery beer. It's the best way that I could put it at the moment. Uh, someone who generally does not like beer and has never had beer before, I, I wouldn't recommend this to them. It, it, it's, it's an acquired taste. It is the olive of the beer world. You know, uh, I never used to like olives. I was never a fan. And uh, one night with uh, someone uh, who uh, she shall remain lame, uh, nameless, um, we had a couple beers and we were, we were, uh, you know, we were really hungry. So the only thing we could find in the fridge was olives. So sure enough, her and I both agreed with one another that we did not like olives. We went into the fridge, put out this jar of olives. I don't remember how we ate it, you know, toothpick or by hand or whatever, but we probably had about 10 olives each. And we were gr grimming our way through the first half of them. And then surely enough, six, seven, eight olives later, we started loving olives. And I've loved olives to this day. Same goes for beer, ladies and gentlemen. The more you drink, sure, you may gain a more uh, developed palate, but uh, you will also develop a belly. So watch it, ladies and gentlemen. So that's that. Zero complaints whatsoever. Um, for it claiming itself to be an India Pale Ale, I don't find any uh, West IPA or East IPA attributes whatsoever. Um, so I'm going to say straight up for an IPA, I would give this a 1.5. But I, I can't do that because of what it has actually done for me and that is exactly how I've been able to explain it to you so for what it is in general um, I would give it easily um, a 4.3 out of 5 just just based on uh, what it is able to accomplish in the world of beer for me in the, in the UK balanced beer so um, that's the best I can say to you for now. So thanks for joining me on another one of Chris's beer reviews. Don't drink and drive, but drink responsibly. Cheers.